All right, let's graph the linear equation 3y minus 2x equals negative 12. And to do this, we're going to use slope-intercept formula. So here's our slope-intercept formula, and we need to get this equation here into this format. Why don't we add 2x to both sides? So if we do that, then these will cancel out, and we'll have 3y equals, let's call it 2x minus 12, since the x comes first here. Now we can divide both sides by 3, because that's going to let us get y by itself. So 3 over 3 is 1, so we end up with 1y, and that's just y. That'll equal, let's call it 2x over 3 minus 12 over 3. 3 goes into 12 four times, we just call it minus 4. Now we have this in slope-intercept formula, so that's a lot easier for us to graph. The y-intercept, that's negative 4. So we go to the y-axis, we find negative 4, and that's where we'll intercept or cross the y-axis, the line that we draw. Next, we have m, that's the slope, that's 2 over 3. We can call that rise over run. So we're going to rise 2 and run 3. So we go to our y-intercept, we rise 1, 2, and we go to the right, 1, 2, 3. Let's do another one. It's usually best to have three points. We go to this new point, we rise 1, 2, and we run 3. 1, 2, 3. You can see we have those in a line there. Let's put a line through those. Then we'll put arrows to show that it goes to infinity. And that's the graph for 3x minus 2y equals negative 12. You could also use a table of values where you put points in for y, find points for x, and then you graph those on the table. That would work and give you the same line. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video. This is Dr. B graphing the equation 3y minus 2x equals negative 12. Thanks for watching.